Today, we're going to take a dive into the six biggest, baddest water parks that the world has to offer. From terrifying plunges to lazy rivers to dolphins, we've got all the info on the most amazing water parks in existence. No time to waste, let's get started. Number six, Tropical Islands Resort, Germany. The Tropical Islands Resort holds the title of the largest indoor water park in the world. It's a huge building. Originally built as a hangar for aircraft, Zeppelin to be exact, it has everything you could possibly want in a water park packed into the huge hangar. On one side, there's the world's largest largest indoor rainforest, complete with all kinds of tropical plants and trees, and a whole host of animals. There's butterflies, turtles, tropical fish, flamingos, and macaws in every color. The whole trail is over a kilometer long, and you can easily spend a relaxing afternoon exploring every inch. But when you're ready for watery fun, there's plenty that the Tropical Islands Resort has to offer. There's a huge tower, 27 meters tall, with a selection of slides to choose from. Once you splash into one of the Waiting pools, there are lagoons and beaches to relax and have fun on. There are even balloon rides you can take at the resort. It really does have everything. Number 5. Caribbean Bay, South Korea Caribbean Bay is not too far away from the South Korean capital city of Seoul. It was built in 1996. At the moment, it holds the title of being the largest outdoor and indoor water park on the planet. This huge status did not come all in one go, though. The park underwent an enormous expansion in 2008, which increased the space and capacity by a whopping 30%. There's a huge variety of things to do here. Caribbean Bay has a wave pool with some of the best surf in South Korea. There are tons of tube slides, bobsleds, rafts, a flume, and a diving pool. Basically everything a thrill-seeking adrenaline junkie needs. Once you're tired from all the slides, there are some amazing places to relax and unwind. The aquatic center section of the park can involves some traditional Korean hot springs and a sauna so you can get some much needed calmness. And there's also a beauty spa. It even has a solid jade sleeping beds. It is truly a very unique park and a must do if you want to visit some of the best in the world. Number 4. Aquatica, Florida, United States Aquatica is SeaWorld's water park and it continuously proves to be one of the most popular parks in Orlando. Aquatica has marketed itself as being a natural water park as there are trees, plants, and flowers throughout. Paths for visitors wind around groups of palm trees, and you really feel as though you're somewhere far away in tropical. Aquatica has continued to expand since it opened in 2008, with slides opening every couple of years. There's one project underway at the moment called Riptide Race, but it's experienced delays due to COVID-19. Aquatica's signature attraction is Dolphin Plunge, a body slide which goes through the center of an enclosure which houses a small pod of Commerson's dolphins. Commerson's dolphins look a little like killer whales as they're black and white, but much smaller and move very quickly. They're incredibly popular and people visit from all over to get a look at them. The dolphin plunge slide is always busy as diving through the enclosure on the slide, trying to get a look at them swim around you is an incredible experience. There is also parrots and sloths which live in the park and animal handlers frequently do talks throughout the day on housing the animals. Aside from the amazing animals that live there, there are tons more slides with all kinds of unique gimmicks. There's one slide called Tassie's Twisters in which the riders sit in rafts and you end up in what can only be described inside enormous bowls, circling around until you fall through the middle. There are drop slides where you stand in the tube and the bottom falls through, plunging you into darkness and twists and turns. The people behind the designs of Aquatica are always trying to come up with something new and exciting for the guests. It doesn't seem like they're slowing down anytime soon. If you find yourself in Florida, we definitely recommend you take a visit here. Number 3. Yas Waterworld World, Abu Dhabi. Yas Water World isn't only named as such because it's fabulous, it is called Yas Water World because it is on Yas Island. It's absolutely huge and sprawls over more than 15 hectares. The park's actually based on a story that has partially been created for the park and partially based on Emirati history. A girl comes across a mysterious pearl which is rooted in legend, foretold to bring riches to her poor village. The girl, Dana, travels across the islands to find the pearl and a 
return it to her village. The entire park is themed around this tale, from the attractions to the architecture. Atop the tallest tower, which can be seen from anywhere in the park, sits an enormous white pearl, which gleams in the sunlight. The buildings around the outside are decorated like huge Arabian castles. Whilst the attractions in the middle of the park look like the smaller village, some of the most popular rides are huge water slides, the bottoms of which empty out into the pool in huge sculpted snake heads. There are over 30 experiences, rides, and attractions at Yas Waterworld, which cater to all ages and occasions. For real thrill seekers, the six-person water coaster Falcon's Flage will take a raft of adventures up slopes, down steep drops and plunges. Tube slides and body slides are everywhere you look, and there's a wide array of lazy rivers, wave pools, and beaches for those who prefer to take it slower. Number 2. Siam Park, Tenerife Siam Park opened its doors in 2008 and it's based off of Taiwanese culture, architecture, and themes. It's got something for everyone and the park is praised for having hugely diverse areas for all kinds of guests and families. There's an enormous wave pool which has the highest waves of any wave pool in the whole world at 3 meters high. The wave pool is next to a beautiful sandy beach where you can relax after getting some surf in the pool. Siam Park is also home to the world's world's longest lazy river. The lazy river is called Mai Tai and it snakes around the length of the park and actually ends in a slide. This is super unusual but it works because this lazy river actually has a super high elevation of 8 meters. Siam Park also boasts a huge bowl slide complete with a laser show inside. Once the four person raft finishes the chute and ends up inside the huge bowl, riders are entertained as they spin towards the exit with a crazy light show. Interestingly, Siam Park is built on a hill. This means that the amazing slides don't need to have unsightly support structures underneath them, as the drops are built into the landscape of the hill itself. This not only makes the park look super cool, as the architecture can focus on decor rather than hiding support struts, but it's naturally very safe. The park also desalinates a huge amount of seawater every day to use in the park. This gets used a second time as once the desalted, used seawater is filtered out of the rides, it gets used to water the plants in the park. It's a pretty neat system. Number 1. Typhoon Lagoon, Florida, United States Heading back to America for this last one, Typhoon Lagoon at Disney World Florida is nothing short of incredible. It's got everything you could want in a water park. The wave pool has some seriously massive waves rolling in, and it's known for being a spot for surfers to practice once the park is closed to the public. There's an incredible tropical beach with soft pale sand and a shark reef where you can actually snorkel with sharks raised in tropical fish. There's no glass, just you and the wildlife. There's a huge assortment of slides and rides, including some with steep drops and tube slides where you can sail down bumpy hills. There's an awesome water coaster called Crush and Gusher where riders in tubes are flung uphill and down again in tunnels and outdoors with twists and turns everywhere. There are three versions of this ride and each one is different, so try them all. In typical Disney fashion, no details left neglected. There's all kinds of tropical plants as far as the eye can see, and not one single scrap of artificial looking structures left uncovered. Structures of the slides are all covered by man-made cliffs and hills, then decorated with flowers. Even the floor is made up of sandy pathways and aesthetic wooden planks, and there are little waterfalls and flower beds in every corner. It really looks every bit like a mysterious secret lagoon, and you'll totally forget you're in Orlando. Before you head out to Typhoon Lagoon, make sure to stop and get some mini donuts on your way out. They're the perfect snack after all that swimming. Thanks for watching today, guys. Leave a like down below. See you next time.